hi guys my name is Nazo Eze and you're welcome to my channel this is a collaboration video see it's been a while since I collaborated on this channel and I'm happy that I am doing it after so long with the beautiful ah this woman is fine do people know Jamila Jamila Dora of Ado Lifestyle you don't know her hey god I've never seen somebody that has skin as pure and as glowy as Jamila. And if you know Jamila, you know that she's the queen of skincare on this YouTube. Yeah, you need to check out her channel, follow her videos and learn how to take care of your skin. I've learned so much from watching her. Anyway, so this video is a collaboration with the beautiful Jamila. And we're going to be talking about the advantages of raising kids in Ninja versus abroad yeah she's gonna in fact that you know what let me not talk too much let me let her open the floor and please after watching this video kindly subscribe to her channel like you will not regret it there's so much to learn on adult lifestyle let me let her open the floor i'm talking too much i present to you jamila thank you so much nazo for bringing me on your channel i'm so glad to be here good day everyone my name is jamila dora and i am a content creator beauty and lifestyle content creator based in the state of georgia here in the united states i'm originally from nigeria and um i've been in the united states for eight years now and i'm here to share what i feel like are the advantages of raising kids here in the here in the u.s or you know abroad as we call it so first things first is the opportunity i think um the one thing that is very different from what one thing that is quite established here in the states compared to where we are coming from most especially nigeria is that access to opportunity there are just so many opportunities that you feel like your child's dream are not going to die with them your child's dream are not going to be swept away and be seen as um, um not something of that is not of good value your child's dream are going to be harnessed your child can dream freely and become who they want to become i don't feel like i'm going to be pressuring my child that except they are medical doctors or engineers or lawyers or accountants that they are successful success is measured differently in this part of the world and the way they measure success it allows for people to be for talent and skills to be able to be totally harnessed you know to be harnessed and utilized for the good of the child and for the good of the of the society nobody is discarding anybody's dreams nobody is this nobody is saying that you cannot be this person if you don't have a degree i mean look around us and look at the successful people they have here majority of them do not even have a degree to start with not that they would not eventually not get that degree but they were able to attain a level of success even without that degree first because they were captured very early and they were given the right kind of attention so i would think that opportunity is honestly the biggest thing for me um the second thing for me would be safety um, with the current situation now in Nigeria, I, I mean, you all would agree with me that getting your child out of the Nigeria or getting yourself and your family out of Nigeria is just a way out of it. Like, every, I feel like my children are secured and are safe. Their dreams are safe here, still taking it back to opportunity. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I, I have, they have, there is that justice system that if anything again this is comparing it to where we are coming from there is that justice system that if anything should happen to my child that i can fight i can scream out i can get my voice heard and you know i can pursue justice for my child and yes it's not perfect here we hear it on the news every day day in day out one issue or another but when you compare it to Nigeria, where money solves it all, where um, connection solves it all, where um, your access solves it all, or where the judicial, the, the judicial system is almost nothing to write home about, then you know that if something bad were to happen to your child, your, your child does not even stand a chance. You don't even know where to go to. You don't know. There is no path to dissent. There is no path for you to say, if I go this way, results are going to be gotten for me. So honestly, that is one thing that that safety, that security, that justice system that I can pursue is the second reason why I feel like 
raising kids abroad is better. Then the other things, um, the, I would have loved to talk about two more things, but since we are keeping it at three, I would say that I'll just group it to amenities, social amenities, education, good road, good health. I am a ch my child. One of my child is um, my second child is a beneficiary of sound and sound and um, solid healthcare system and I would not have traded that for anything like oh my goodness my, you know it is very hard for you to have a health condition that needs to be properly managed and you know to bring a child into this world that also needs almost equal amount of that attention and you don't know where to go to our health system back in Africa or back in Nigeria it lacks a lot of research lacks a lot of um attention so it is really really almost nothing to write home about so that access to good amenities is one thing that i am truly grateful for and you know some people would argue that all these things that i have mentioned oh we have it in nigeria oh um is because this is because that but come come on let's let us be very honest you know it is not the same it is never the same it might be the same someday when we have better leadership, when we have better accountability, but for now it is not the same. And I would not say that um, if I were to still choose now between Nigeria and I would still choose here. Look at this current state of Nigeria. You know, it is it is nothing. It is almost nothing to write home about. People are not living. People are surviving. People are surviving and. It is when you have access to a lot of opportunities that is when and you're able to accomplish goals, you're able to fulfill dreams, you're able to feel safe, feel secured. That is when you would know that you are truly living and that is one thing that we are currently lacking in nigeria and that's why you see a lot of people are you know moving and you see children i i when i children are falling victims a lot of of a lot of ill doings back home and nobody is um getting justice for them nobody is being held accountable you hear the arrest but you hear so you don't we did severity and the level of ills that are happening in Nigeria, they can't happen in this country and it gets swept under the carpet. Let us be realistic. It can't happen. It cannot happen because we are at a stage in this world today where everything is, there's social media, there is voice, there's that collective voice. There is, there is no, nobody is oppressing you. Nobody is telling you that you cannot speak up. Nobody is shutting you up. Your dreams are valid. Opportunities are there. So there, we can go on and on. So that, these are the three key things that when I think about my life here, I still say thank God and I still would take it over the life in Nigeria currently. Um, these are what I feel like are my own advantages of raising my kids here, um, you know, in the U.S. or abroad as we call it. So thank you so much and yeah, back to Nazar. Shabby, you people have seen her. Have you seen how beautiful that woman is? Let it not be that you are just taking my word for it. You have seen it with your two eyes and I hope you have subscribed to her channel. Okay, now let me talk about the advantages of raising children in our beloved home country nigeria the first advantage is obvious it is home home east west home is the what is the best it is home like do you know eh after almost three years in the u.s i still miss home badly like there's this joy you have when your kids know where they come from or when they go to where they come from or when they are raised where they come from it's just circumstances beyond our control that made us seek greener pastures in other people's countries but home the fact that it is home is the greatest advantage of all the greatest advantage of raising your kids in nigeria the second advantage of raising your kids in nigeria is that there is a support system you do not lack support system family is dear even if family is not dear Neighbors are dear. Even if neighbors are not dear, school is dear. Like, 
friends are dear. There is a solid support system which you don't easily find abroad. In abroad, everybody is minding their business. Your neighbor does not talk to you. You don't talk to your neighbor. Your teacher only does their job of teaching your child. You know, your family, they are busy. Everybody is busy. But in Nigeria, you have a solid support system that would help you in raising your children. The third advantage of raising your children in Nigeria is that there is affordable help affordable there is affordable help come and pay for child care in the abroad you are gonna pay through your teeth you are gonna pay a hand and a leg like it's very expensive to afford child care in abroad is very expensive but in nigeria is very affordable you have affordable child care you can easily employ a nanny patak pata 50k patak pata 50k you can even find one of 30k like is very affordable but over here a month do you know you can pay up to $1,500 a month in child care abroad okay all right the next advantage of raising your children in Nigeria is that your children are deeply rooted in our culture it's not this thing that we used to do abroad we try some parents like me now we try we try our best to make sure that we imbibe our culture and our roots into our children but it's not the same thing as when you're doing it back home it's not the same thing as when you're teaching them and they're also observing it with their eyes you get and then if you live abroad it's not every time you get to travel for december for christmas to go to the village and all but if you live in nigeria even if you want every christmas you carry your children to the village they get to see these things they get to know how things work in nigeria they get to enjoy that ninja vibes you know it's not really really like that in the abroad but it is well it's greener pastures that we came here to seek no need there are still advantages though of raising your kids abroad which you already heard Jamila talk about anyway this brings us to the end of this video have you subscribed to Jamila's channel have you even subscribed to this my channel please do so I beg of you thank you so much for watching this video I hope you really really enjoyed looking upon our beauty because Jamila is not the only beautiful one in this video. Look at me. Are you not seeing? Just check me out. If there's fan now, I will just unfan. Fan will now be blowing my hair. I will now look like Beyonce. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, let us chat in the comment section. Are you living abroad with your children? Let us know the advantages of living. Of If there are any advantages that Jamila forgot to add that you know. Add it for us in the comment section. And are you living in Nigeria? Are you raising your kids in Nigeria? If there are advantages that me, I forgot to add, had it for me. Okay? Let's chat. Let's cheat and chat in the comment section. Stay safe. Stay blessed. We are going to see ourselves in the next video. Bye.